So we finished week one. We've done five days in a row. Uh, we've brought you seven workouts this week so far. Lisa's done five. I've done two. Um, active rest days for Saturday and Sunday. Make sure you stay on track this weekend. It's really easy. You know, their New Year's resolution was a week ago, out of, out of sight, out of mind type deal. Don't fall off this weekend. No, you know, 2 a.m. pizzas or, you know, the Chinese food, as Lisa would say. Keep it clean, have some fun, but uh, just make sensible choices because it is about the diet and you don't want to throw all your hard work out throughout the week over on a Saturday and a Sunday. Okay, so just make sure you guys are staying clean as best you can this weekend. If you want to treat, reward yourself, but don't throw it all at the window because diet is a huge portion of, of the workout. So if you want results, you got to have a good diet. We're going to continue to post on Facebook, uh, you know, pictures of what we're eating, food journals, follow along with us, and uh, just make sure that you guys are staying on track. Today, I uh, got it in 16.49 today. Um, I found this one actually tougher than Wednesdays just because I readjusted the sandbag. Um, I put more weight in it. Uh, actually doubled the weight. So there is, uh, there's 40 pounds in here. And it's rock solid like there's no there's no give I mean I could put maybe a couple cups in there but that's about it so made the intensity of the workout a lot harder and I had to break a couple times um, just to catch my wind but all the exercises were great really targeted uh, the middle of my back and my lats here we are and uh, obviously the biceps so Great workout, try it at home, post your scores, and do it. Okay, so first exercise I did was uh, legs kicked out, so I guess we can call it half burpee, and then we did a row. So just before I pick up the bag, you really want to make sure that when you're doing the row, yes, you're going to use your arms, so this is going to be the secondary muscle that you're going to be using is your bicep but you really want to contract the shoulder blades and just pretend, I don't know, you got a piece of, uh, I don't know, an eraser or something between your <laughs> eraser. A pencil or something. You know that theory. Anyways, a pencil between your back and you want to squeeze the pencil. Okay. So you want to get the shoulder blades right together. So you're just not bringing it up with the arms. If you're just flopping it up with the arms with no control, you're not really doing anything for yourself. So you want to come back down, Kick the legs out. I went wider this time, um, just because I wanted to. But if you want, you can come in a little bit uh, closer. But I went wide. Either or is fine. You're gonna pop up, 
and then you're going to do the row. So you're going to have obviously a hand in the handles and you want to contract the back. So you want to pinch the shoulder blades together. So you're actually using the middle and center of your back to get this up. Okay. That's really important. Just don't be flailing the bag up and down. Um, Cause again, nothing's going to, nothing's going to happen for you there. So when you're coming back down, I actually recommend wider cause it's, cause when you come up, you're in a great position to do the row, but if you can't, you know, you can do it shoulder, shoulder width and do the row. But I just find that you have a better base if you're coming a little bit wider. Squeeze. Squeeze. So you're going to do that for 15. We're doing 15 reps again. Four exercises, 15 reps per exercise. Okay, so the second one I did was the row. Um, okay, so you're going to do opposite, opposite leg is going to come up when you do the row. Okay, so I'm going to back up a bit here. And just for, uh, you know, a sense of balance, I like to put my hand out in front and uh, stare at a spot on the floor or the wall, whatever works best for you. If you don't want the balance, if this is no good for you and you want to have it here, 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 it doesn't matter. But in me, I like it right here. Okay, so I'm going to come up, you're going to bring up opposite leg and do the row in one motion, looking at the floor. You want to squeeze as much as you can and touch back down and squeeze. Here you're going to target a little bit more of your bicep, but this one's going to focus a little bit more on your lat and really concentrate on your way up if you can, just to be a little bit over your leg, just like that and then come up at the end. So it's down and up, because you really want to squeeze the lat for your back, okay? So we're gonna do that 15 times per side. If you can't get the leg up, I'm lost here. If you can't get the leg up, then just do a straight row towards the end. And on my third round, I was burnt. So 12, 13, 14, 15. I didn't want to stop, so I just uh, I just did a modification. So I just did a, a straight row, right up and right back. Make sure to try to keep the back straight as well, lower back. You want to turn your core on as well, and you're just going to do a, a row, okay? Don't round the back. If you can only get a few, again, put the bag down, take your break, and then pick it up, even if you're banging out two or three at a time, okay? Uh, get to 15. That's the magic number. If you don't get to 15, you're in trouble. All right. So this one, um, was for the biceps and you're going to grab the dip station here and here, and you're going to pull yourself up and you're going to get your butt off the floor if you can. So you're just going to come up and back down, up and back down. Would help if I actually have the dip station the right way. <laughs> oh my geez. All right, so uh, we'll try this again. Uh, we're gonna come up and back down, up and down and up. Really squeeze the bicep and get it up. First couple, like the first few reps, as you can see, I actually did a little bit of a swing. That's okay. Just, uh, just try to get your, your balance, I guess, your coordination with this exercise. Um, after a couple of reps, you're gonna swing a little bit. Um, it's natural. So don't worry about it if you swing on the first one or two. That's okay. Uh, modification for this. If you can't have your butt off the ground the entire time, you can touch back down with it. So you can just come up and back down and up. And, and leaving your feet on the up. ground, right? The heels? Leaving your feet on the ground. If you can only get a couple with your feet off the floor, and then you have to modify it, then do that as well. And you can just come here and do these. Okay? Simple. So last exercise was the jack with a curl. So what you're going to do, grab your bag like this. You're going to come up, and then you're going to do a curl while your legs come out. So it's bang and up, bang 
and up. So you want to curl. Tip here, don't round out. Uh, don't swing the bag because you're not doing anything for yourself. You know, you see a lot of people do that, especially with bicep. They start doing this. It's about ego that, that way, and it's not about ego. So a good tip for you not to rock, actually load your elbows right in by your hips. And so your biceps are actually almost facing outwards. And it really gives them a good stability, stabilization, shoulders back, and you can actually get a really good, really good curl with that, even with the jack. So you're gonna come up and everything's really tight. Just like that. So that's the workout. Remember, whatever you do this weekend, stay on track. Um, you know, if you have parties or, you know, some special occasion, just try to stay on track. That's all we're asking for you this weekend. Do something active as well, whether it's, you know, going for a walk, you know, uh, playing a game of tennis if you're in Florida. Uh, I don't know. For guys, ice hockey up here in Canada. So just do something active, something fun, something that you really enjoy um, outdoors or indoors, okay? Have a good weekend and we'll see you again on Monday.